Hello and welcome back to another episode. We are still playing Tortuga. I'm still absolutely loving this game, so we're going to keep sending these episodes out. Uh, let's go ahead and get right back into the action. Alright, so we got it came time to make a decision, and what I think we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and get our rep with England back up, since we have a fleet and we should be able to sail somewhere else to attack other fleets if we need more ships. So we shouldn't have to attack England. We'll get that rep up, see if we can't start outfitting our ships with better guns again. Uh, so we will head to English waters and we'll see you when we find a quest worth taking. Alright, so we picked up a new quest to, from this governor here at Tortuga to get some grog. But we are going to go ahead and cheat a little bit and see if the market has any for us. Uh, if it does, then we'll just buy it out. That's why we have the money we do. And it looks like we've got just enough here in the city that we can buy some. Uh, also, we've kind of increased our money here. It is because we sold some ships that we had. We had about four ships. And they gave us quite a bit of money there. And so we went ahead and got our gold, our reputation, and our experience. And it looks like we've got way more gold than what we spent on that. So it's absolutely worth it to just buy your goods if you can. Uh, at least where your uh, reputation is concerned. What kind of pirate buys all of his goods? But we'll sail here to Isabella and see if the governor doesn't have anything for us there that could also improve England's disposition towards us. And they want 5,000 gold. That's quite alright. We'll go in and see what they want here. And it looks like I'm at the bottom of the list. So he needs 35 kegs of tobacco pipe. And I believe that I already have that. And it looks like I did, so we can just hand that right over and improve their outlook. Uh, looks like we've got some more here to do. 35 kegs of rum. Now I don't think that I have that, so we will have to go to the market to see if we can get some rum. And it looks like we can buy the 35 of it, so go ahead and just keep it right there. And now we can talk to him again. And he's thrilled with us. So we're going to go ahead and sail on over to the other side of the island here. And we'll see you once we get there. And we just kind of stopped in our uh, hideout here. And it looks like we have just enough to get a treasure cave. And then we don't have enough to get anything else. Uh, but next time we come through here we will go ahead and do that. So let's see what we can do at the treasure cave. Alright, so we can actually throw a bunch of stuff in here. So we will we'll start with our wood and the cod liver oil and we'll go ahead and dump the ropes in there as well. Uh, cloth, sure. Anything that we can use to upgrade at this point we'll just drop it off so we can limit our stores. Uh, tools, we'll probably just try to get rid of, sell a bunch of this stuff as we go on. And it looks like we're not in need of repairs. See, we could sell the ships. They actually go for quite a bit once you get to the bigger ones. 300, 294, 283. Uh, but we will come back as soon as we get to the other side of the island there. And we're coming upon Santo Domingo, and it looks like they are going to want part of my stores in order to, in order to, uh, dock here. Oh, it looks like they did not, so they're not as upset with me as I thought. So it looks like we have a bounty that we could do. Alright, so we've actually got a uh, 
mission to go hunt down a convoy. So we will meet you when we get there. And we're rounding the first point in their normal travel method. We should come upon them at any time now. And I will say this, I really do like this game. Even the uh, the monotony of sailing just in open waters really isn't that bad. It's nice to sit there and watch and see what's going on in front of you. I'm a little confused as to where this ship might be now since it's not in between its two points. Uh, but we will keep looking here and you'll know as soon as we find it. So this just came up. I haven't seen anybody or ran into anybody. We'll see what happens. Uh, looks like I completed a task. Hold on, let's go check and see what is going on there. I'm not even sure what that's for yet, so we will... Uh, Look into that later. I'm not really sure why that just popped like that. Uh, but I've been around here a couple times for the islands. And I've just about given up on this. But uh, we'll give it a few minutes and then see what happens here. Okay, so something really interesting just happened. Um, I'm sailing along, haven't been able to see anything or find anybody there's literally been no ships in the water and from nowhere we got hit by this fleet and it looks like they have a Karak and that's actually a really good ship to have uh, see it's it's just as good as the best ship that I have the Queen Anne and one of the Queen Anne's there and it's just right above it I think this is a two or three deck ship uh, so it would be a great addition to the fleet so we're going to go ahead and try to, hopefully we will uh, shoot at sails, leave her dead in the water, take out the rest of the ships, and then uh, from there we can just kind of take it over once we deal with the rest of the fleet. So hopefully that works for us. I believe that this one's going to be the Karak. Shooting out. And I don't know, two of those ships might be really good to have. But we will bring all of our ships about here. Oh, I see. I was focused on. I thought it was the wrong ship. firing at us with his uh, it's probably some swivel guns on the bow alright so the first thing we want to do I was hoping we could have a good shot on that. Maybe we will try to come around to the right side of the battle here and force them on the left. Uh, let's see. That would be a pretty decent shot. 
Let's go ahead and take a look. That's gonna that's gonna be the care rack right there. Okay. So we are gonna leave her dead in the water. And now the next goal is to move all the ships further over here so that we're out of range of her guns. So we will do that, but at the same time maintain the attack on them as we're moving out. And I believe that this ship is going to have to come around the other way. And it looks like we pierced her hole and got through the armor. That's exactly what we're hoping for in this kind of situation, being outnumbered. Maybe I will bring this one wide. I wouldn't like that. I'd like to cut it short. That's actually more favorable. And then normally we'd try to hit the Karak and then also hit the... Uh, oh, these are both Karaks. That is a two deck. So we'll just go ahead and take this one out here. We'll keep the two deck where it is. All right, and this guy, I really don't want him in a position where he can be hit by that first Karak. For instance, if I park him right here and hit that shot, the next move he'll make is to move forward. Maybe we will also run around to this side. I mean, he may be able to spin about and hit us, but it's it's not like we're putting ourselves directly in his path on purpose. Alright, so what do we got here? 40%, 20%, and 40%. Um, 57 to 80 on all of them. We'll just get, we'll just accelerate the shot there. And get that guaranteed hit. And he hit his own ship. Did way worse to mine though. Hit both of my ships. That was actually a really heavy shot. And honestly, I'll be surprised if we make it out of this one. It's uh looks like it might be a tough battle here. Like I said, we'll try to get out of the way here. I'm going to keep folding this way. And the military frigate, that's the one we're going to go for. be a shot we like. We can shoot both targets here. And we'll take that guaranteed direct hit. That's 78, that's pretty good. And then on the other side here, we've got a 70 and a 70. Uh, we will go ahead and hit the Corvette. Try to take out these small ships first. And yes, this ship's going to come hit these ships on the side here. We'll see what kind of percentage we get. We've got a 30, a 50, and a 70. We will take the 70, and we're going to miss at 70%. Okay. You know what you're doing. I disagree, but that's fine. This may be a decent shot to continue pushing out here. And it looks like we've sunk a vessel. 
So we're heading to even, evening it out. And he shot all three of my ships. What a show off. And they are just rocking those ships. Maybe it was a bad idea. Yeah, see I lost a ship. I'm curious which one that I lost here. out here. Oh, that's the one we lost. Alright, so now we've essentially got to take some ships. Alright, we've got a 30% and a 70. We will take the 70. And this really doesn't look so well uh, since this ship is no longer armored on this particular side. So it may get sunk this round too. Yeah, it's taking quite a beating there. But we can also give him a little bit of that back since his armor is knocked. We actually might be able to sink him. Oh, that is one of the ships we do want though. So perhaps we'll take this one. Still a 70% chance. Alright, we'll take it. We'll actually try to board this one now, I think. Full speed ahead! And since he's got the board, he's got 61%, that's fine. We'll turn it up a little bit more and get him that 100%. And we've got 141 men. The boat's ours. And it looks like it's 110 men. So we're okay there. hoping for a shot on the side that was already wrecked, but that's okay. And we rocked her pretty hard there. Alright, now we're on the ship and we need to board her. All right, we're plus 17% on the boarding process. They're down to 89 men there. And he's going to shoot at my ship. Oh, I, th I thought he was going to shoot at the one that had already been engaged. And it looks like I've lost another ship. Try to sink this vessel right here. And she sunk. Maybe we'll try to take this other one right here. And she doesn't have any uh, armor on this side. So let's go ahead and grave shot her. It shouldn't be too good. Wait, did that just say no captain? No captain. Skills unusable. I didn't know you could lose your captain like that. That's uh, good to know. So it looks like I can't board from where I'm positioned. 
Uh, tell you what, let's come about. That's not how I wanted to do that. Uh, that's fine. We'll go ahead and just end that. No, I don't want to do that. Alright, so on that ship we're forcing them back. It looks like this one's trying to take off. And we've got a 35% chance to board. We'll try it. And it failed. We're going to move this ship. We'll, we'll take that shot, that's fun. And we'll fire a lucky shot. And we'll safeguard first. And the ship is ours. With our heart in the right place, no one can stop us. And now the goal is just to board this other ship. I'm tired of looking at it. Forty-eight percent. We'll take that. We'll show up and it failed again. Right. Really, getting awfully tired of this fail. The boat's ours. There we are. There's a success. And we'll move this ship in. And then we'll just end the turn there. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and pie around a rum. All right, and, and their final ship is coming about here. So we're gonna board that at 88%. And this ship is going to move out here, and maybe it could come across and board this guy without uh, sustaining too much damage there. Now we're going to save our strength, and we have the ship. And this is where he fires on us and sinks his own ships. We have a 16% chance, but that'll close a lot of the distance. Because I really can't afford to get into it with this ship. It's uh, quite strong. And we've taken quite the beating. Let's see here. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can't believe that was just what we needed to board it to. So we'll increase, and then we'll board it 66. The boat's ours. And they're successful. All right, that's just what we wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and just don't move. We're gonna go ahead and intern. better use our conventional planks and even though their crew outnumbers I believe our crew is the better sailors real means. and it looks like we've added another ship on board there so they are uh, taking quite a beating and it looks like we've captured all those ships which is good and we've got a lot of wood, a lot of tobacco, but that's it. Let's take some ships here. What do we got? We got the Karak, the military frigate. We will just take the Karaks, and even though we could sell the military frigate, we're just, we'll leave them with one ship. 
nice new ship. Now all we've got to do is get the stench. Oh, out. and now all of a sudden all these ships show up. Uh Emily Adams. It's a pirate. Queen Anne, Queen Anne. We just want to leave that as fast as possible. Now we want to go to our fleet. Seamus doesn't even have a ship right now. Alright. So we're going to change this around a bit. The first ship that we're going to replace is the Rascal. And although it is a ship of the line, I want to get a ship with multiple decks for him. The next is going to be Seamus Walsh, and same thing with him. We will give him the other Karak. He's been with us the longest. And then we'll look at the Queen Anne. She's at 1250. We've got a 14 ship of the line right here. And for Clement, we've got... He's at 1105, but we do have the Queen Anne at 1251. So we're going to go ahead and give him that ship. Uh, let's go ahead and check how many men we've got. We've got 111 out of 150. Looks to be the same. Looks to be the same. And then 117 out of 160. So we have a lot of men still. Ah, he keeps trying to get me. Let's try to intimidate him now. And it looks like we got him. And I can't believe when it loaded in, it finally showed us all the ships we needed. So that's going to be the ship we want. I'm not sure if this is it. No, he's just a merchant fleet. So we will uh, let him go and we're going to go after see if we can't catch up with Aggie. It looks like he's already gone. So we'll see if we can't find him again. We'll cut to you back when we do. So it looks like these waters are infested with pirates because we keep getting attacked by pirates. And it looks like these guys want to fight it out. So we'll go ahead and make them rethink that decision. It looks like I forgot to repair my ships. I should have known to do that. Ah, but that's right. We've got uh, should have the advantage here. So it looks like only one of my guns are going to fire off my port, but that's all right. Still did 50. Oh, it wasn't even my port. It was off my bow. Oh, I did get, so I got one off the uh, port, and then one off the bow. Okay, I didn't, uh... Didn't know I could do that. Can this dude just fire all day? could be dangerous, but it'd be all right. Oh, 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 oh man, that was mean. I did not expect to, uh, <laughs> to take her down like that. And I know we've kind of gotten to an issue here with clumping our ships together. But a lot of them really can't move. They still have sail issues. With enough foresight, we can win every battle. So remember that the next time you take over a vessel, that you need to have your carpenters fix it immediately. We have to watch out for our 
Alright, I first saw that going much worse. I thought they were going to hit all three of them with one volley. Oh, there we are. And we ripped a nice hole in the side of her. Cause she has already taken on water. Uh, so, ooh, we probably want to hit off the starboard. But I don't think that that's going to be as easy. Oh, there we are. So hopefully this sinks her. Because I really can't afford to take any more hits with that ship. I hope it's worth it. Don't really like oh there we go. And thirty-six to the star or yeah, starboard. With enough foresight, we can win every battle. I was hoping to get a better shot. Uh we may be able to take that. But we are still low on armor, so she might be able to sink us if we're not careful. We'll do a lucky shot. And that one is actually leaking now. And that ship is that ship of mine is almost sunk as well. Maybe we should fire the uh, special ammunition it's armor plating. And we did nothing. Come on, men! Sing so the whole world can hear us! And these cannons aren't fully loaded. But they did a nice job. Even though it's deadly, we are going to try this. They shouldn't run into each other. With enough foresight, we can win every battle. And same thing here. I hope that this is enough to sink it. And it's not. But on the next round of turns, we should do some significant damage and get her to lay at the bottom here. Back into action. I just made myself comfortable. And these cannons are nowhere refilled, but it looks like they did the damage. So let's go ahead and jump back to the main map here. And then we will uh, look at repairing our ships. Looks like they had a bunch of stuff that we could use. And we will take the extra men. Could always use good uh, able-bodied seamen. So we'll dock. Go to the tavern. We're missing about 30 men, so we'll buy around there. And then we will go to the harbor master, repair our ships, and then we'll take a look at the sails again because we do have some new ships outfitted here. Maybe we will go ahead. Let's see what we got here. Oh, 
you know what? I think it's over here. There we go. Maximum speed. We would get movement damage reduced. Ship is immune to critical hits to the rudder. And then friendly ships in three fields will have lookouts, have the deductions due to cover and blocking ships. Okay. So you know what? We will go ahead and buy that for the Karak. All right, this guy, what he's got? Well, we won't really worry about a rudder for you, especially since we can't do it. Um, ship of the line, no, Queen Anne, you, we could actually sell. We could sell you for almost 300,000. And would you look at that, we've got a million in money. So we will go ahead for the other Karak here and buy that. And now both of them are well fitted. Alright, so I actually think that that is a good place to stop. So when we pick it up next time, we will go back and look to intercept the ship. If you've made it this far, thanks for your time. And uh, we'll see you next time.